Hi, I'm Philippa from DME Music, here to talk to you about some more ways that we can keep developing musically, even though we might not be able to go out and play or practice in the way that we normally would. So many of us are using our bodies in different ways at the moment to suit the environment that we're in, and it's important to consider how this might be affecting our physical being, and then in turn, what effect this will have on our playing or singing. For example, lots of us will be sitting for prolonged periods in a potential, potentially stressful position, such as working from home, um, hunched over a keyboard or straining your neck over a laptop whilst you might be curled or slouched in an armchair. How many of us cross our legs while we're sitting at the table? Um, I'm doing it now. Or hold our arms and wrists at crooked angles while we're chatting to friends and family on the weekly quiz. Or perhaps you're the opposite end of the scale. Um, you're a key worker who's been working much longer hours than normal and you're under far more strain. Or you've managed to be super productive and have spent hours gardening and cleaning and sorting out the home, constantly lifting and twisting without even realising it. Although we might be sitting in what feels like a comfy position or cracking on with work and the chores feels fine at the time, it is important to check in with your body and consider how this might be affecting your posture and tension in the long term. Then consider how this tension can manifest and hinder our playing or performing. Take your hands, for example, something we use constantly and therefore these carry enormous amounts of tension. Even the small things such as scrolling through your phone, um, we're straining our wrists and our thumbs numerous times a day. And yet we rely on our hands and fingers for so much dexterity and strength and speed for making our music. Similarly, our shoulders and neck and our arms, our mouth, lips, playing and singing are hugely physical activities. And where there's unwanted strain and tension, um, this can be heard in the sounds that we're making or inhibit our ability to make them all together. As has been said many a time, Musicians are like athletes. We need physical strength, endurance, flexibility, agility, motivation, and so much more. And there are lots of training tips that we can make use of to further our success. A great example, and something that's very easy to do at home, um, is stretching to maintain flexibility and conditioning. And as an additional bonus, stretching can be a really relaxing and calming activity. There are lots of really helpful articles out there um, which will talk you through some really great stretches and there are some more generic ones that are instrument specific so targeting those areas that are specific to certain players. Um, so here are some good places to start for general stretching for musicians. Um, the first one is the British Association for Performing Arts Medicine. Um, their website overall has lots of information about health and well-being for musicians. Um, but there's a link in the description below that will take you to a list of their um, stretching and warm up exercises. Uh, Making Music Mag have recommended their top five stretches for musicians. Again, the link's below. And internationalmusician.org have also got a list of stretches that they recommend doing um, before playing. But if you want to go into something um, that's a bit more specific and really delve into um, all the theory and the more detail that comes with this, a really good book to get you started is The Athletic Musician, A Guide to Playing Without Pain by Barbara Paul and Christine Harrison. Um, if you give that a Google, you should be able to um, get hold of a copy relatively easily. So like our last video that talks about imagery, um, stretching is something that you can take forward long term and is a really good investment in your musical development, um, bringing you benefits to both your physical and mental well-being. So hopefully these resources will help keep you in good musical health and stay safe.